So tonight is the supermoon, and as you may have already guessed, the astronomers and your local weather people are exaggerating how amazingly awesome this is. So the moon is at perigree, which means it's a little bit closer to the Earth than it usually is, what, 14%, 15%, something like that? But the moon changes every night in size, doesn't it? Or at least in terms of illumination. So maybe 3% every night? So three days ago it was 10% smaller, and three days from now it'll be 10% smaller again. And it's hard to even tell when the moon is full by just looking at it. There is one foolproof way, and it is the very definition of a full moon, and that is the moon rises as the sun sets. And you can see we're pretty close right now. So I'm going to get behind the camera, let you enjoy the end of the sunset, and then we'll go hunt for the moon rising in the other direction. Okay, so I didn't have a clear horizon behind me. And it turns out uh, I was more right and wrong um, than I thought because uh, the moon rose uh, while I was shooting that lovely time lapse of the sunset. It's 8.15 right now. It's very clear that the moon has already been up for a little bit. So the sun sets, the moon rises at the same time. That's a full moon. That is a super moon. It's huge, isn't it? Huge. Okay, it's officially nighttime out. The end of astronomical twilight happened uh, a while ago. It's sometime after nine o'clock. I forgot my cell phone. And I am being illuminated by only natural light right now as we've been doing throughout uh, this little uh, video post. Uh, in this case, we're being illuminated by the super bright super moon. And yes, it's pretty bright. I mean, you can see me right now and we're getting our shot. I'm a big fan of the philosophy of it's better to get your shot than not. However, with this Canon T2i camera, which has very, very good low light level performance, excellent low light performance, um, I have the ISO kicked all the way up to 60 400, which means it is grainy as all get out. Um, if I was really shooting something out here in these conditions, I definitely want to add a light to this situation. The other trick is that I'm using Canon's glorious 24 millimeter f1.4 lens. F1.4 refers to the as the the um, aperture ratio, and 1.4 means it is a big fast lens that lets a lot of light in um, and it's wonderful uh, to shoot with um, in any kind of situation where you can't add uh, light to the scene for whatever reason. Now that also has a consequence uh, and very wide apertures also mean very very shallow depths of field like paper thin depths of field as you can see here as I move back to my mark um, and back again you can see uh, Venus back there, totally out of focus. Uh, very, very bright instantly. And here's another little astronomical tip. If it's the brightest star in the sky and it's sunset and it's in the west, it's Venus. If it's the brightest star in the sky and it's dawn and it's in the east, it's probably Venus. The only other star in the sky that can uh, compete with Venus uh, would be Jupiter. And if you're out at midnight and there's a super bright star straight up, that's probably Jupiter. Um, there's also another star right next to it. And over here, you can see another uh, pretty bright star, which I'm afraid with the full moon and the crappy seeing, um, I don't know, I can't remember what star that is. It's probably um, Arcturus in the constellation of Booties. Um, probably, it could be Capella too. But you can see it's flickering and flashing around like crazy in this uh, not good seeing sky. It's humid out there, uh, partially cloudy. We've got our super moon back there. Um, so uh, 
astronomically this isn't isn't uh, great for seeing but you can see it is flashing around and Venus is not oh I've got one more thing I want to show you too so why is that photograph so bright well obviously it's because I opened up the shutter for a second or two and held very very still but more than why is it bright why does it look like daylight and not you know that blue moonlight color well the answer to that is obvious as well moonlight is reflected sunlight so the reason why it looks like sunlight is because it is sunlight and that my friends is all I've got for you tonight the night of the supermoon keep shooting watch the skies